Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about suboptimal solutions. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, would you explain the rationale for decisions taken when a new engineer in the team expresses their surprise over the suboptimal solution you used for building the application. A yes. Why would I not? If a new engineer starts, it's part of their onboarding process to learn how the system works, and will inevitably, uh, well, it depends on the on the hire. If it's an experienced senior, they might sort of figure out why you, by themselves why things work in a certain way, and then you have the people who try to impress you, uh, who try to come with suggestions while you're, while you're trying to explain, and then you have the scared shitless juniors who can who just think everything is a good idea because they're like they're almost like little puppies they they want to pat on their head yes yes you are right you have the correct opinion good uh, and so forth and so forth so it's uh, the uh, it's part of of it to uh, explain to people why you have made certain um, solutions and when it comes to the people who don't understand that there are circumstances where a suboptimal solution is not ordinarily warranted it's actually necessary it is in fact the depending on how you define it it might be the exact right thing to do at the moment and the reason behind this is because when you write software if you are a silly silly person and you don't understand that circumstances can dictate when something is appropriate and when something is not appropriate it's really important to explain to these people why a certain move has been made because one part is that it gives an understanding to them what, where like the intricacies of your system is like where the problem areas are but it also gives you a chance to figure out the sort of value system that you're dealing with on both sides actually uh, this is why I always make sure to ask these sorts of questions and this is why I give the advice to everybody who is going into software development that before you think that you know before you go and talk to myself as an example and tell me that there are a hundred libraries that do this thing or so forth and so forth better than what I did and that I'm a shitty software developer try to understand that maybe just maybe I actually know about all the things that you are talking about and the reason why I don't correct you is because I don't waste time on your ignorance and maybe the reason why uh, you know I or other people have made these such a decisions is because we simply did not have the luxury of one part ignorance but also the other part uh, of free choice of doing exactly what we want there are many situations where you're put in a situation where you cannot do this in a better way it simply cannot be done be not because it's not technologically possible but because people create a situation where there is not the possibility to solve it in a better way I'll give you an example so I had a new hire who uh, had some thoughts on a pagination integration a pagination solution that we had in one of the systems that I was working on and at the time I had no one in the entire team had written this code it was older than anybody else's membership within the team and so he pointed out that well this is really weird because the way that this pagination solution works is that it goes to the backend system fetches a page of data because in this case it was sorting that was taking place or something or filtering I can't remember now but yeah and the way it is done is that it gets every page of data in the entire database and then it sorts the data and shows it in some type of list or like and then like it does in like client side uh, pagination with the sorted data and so he came and said like why, why is this happening this is really ineffective and I just look at him and I say well it's probably because p the sorting isn't supported in the backend API 
And he just looked at me like, I, like okay, yeah, it's not supported, but surely we should make it supported. Absolutely. Go and get it supported. And I, I don't know what he was expecting, and I said, go and get it supported. And I think he posted messages to the backend team for three days without any reply. And when he finally got a reply, it turns out that their backlog was full and they didn't have time to f look into this because, of course, there was a million reasons why they couldn't do it and it should have been planned differently and they might be able to look in in on it the next quarter, etc., etc. And so I told him that, well, this is sort of the situation. And so what we have to make a decision on here is, literally, do we want this ugly solution that brings value to our customers who don't really care about the technological solution but they care about the end result or do we just want to remove the feature and so we talk about it and we agree that this is not really ideal uh, there are better ways of doing it but the good part is that the abstraction that we have created makes it so that because we put up a ticket to the uh, other team and so once they are going to fix it or once they will, would fix it uh, we could actually change the implementation because of course it's filtering and so forth and sorting should ideally be done within the database before you fetch the entire database in order to do the same thing in memory but the, uh, the solution was what was that to do exactly that. Luckily, as I said, the abstraction we had was very, very good. So uh, it's just a function that internally does the actual fetching of data so forth. So if some, when they change it, we can actually, with almost no change to, at all to our code, update our solution so that it's more performant. And situations like that requires a bit of talking and guidance and uh, explain to people and this is where the this coworker of mine showed his maturity because he realized that this was an issue instead of throwing a hissy fit over it and crying about it like uh, a lot of philosopher programmers will do uh, we could have a grown-up conversation and we could sort of transparently how to put this he he didn't treat this as some type of I don't know impossible situation which has to be fixed like he, he very quickly just didn't realize that okay we're blocked by another team and reasons are what reasons are so this is the best we can do and then he at the same time realized that well all of this is not nice it's still isolated it's not a problem that's going to grow on us so it's sort of like you know you I don't know, if you have a clean shirt, there's like a little spot on one of the sleeves that is almost not noticeable. In a perfect world, you want everything, to, the entire shirt to be clean, right? But at the very least, if it's going to be dirty, it's dirty in a place where it doesn't really show so much. It's the same sort of deal here. And that's why it's so important that you always explain to people why things work in a certain way because what we then talked about which is exactly the thing that you should do as well is that this thing here is not nice but the reason why it's not nice is not because we want it to be this way it's because we're not able to fix it in a better way so what we want is to make it the nicest bad solution there can there is and not use the same thing in all the other places where there are like other APIs that we had and so forth that actually had support for the thing that we needed. So just because of one little piece of the system isn't bad, that doesn't that doesn't give you leeway to you know make everything else bad. It's just a part, and we will fix it as soon as it's possible to fix it. So what I want you to take away from this is that of course you always need to explain to people why things work in the way that they they are working. If something isn't as nice, I mean, guys, there are many times when people have told me in a code review, can we? It would be really nice if you, I don't know, refactor this ugly piece of code. And I say no, I won't do that because right now we have this feature and I have a tight deadline or etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And you just talk to people, explain why you're doing the way things the way that you are. Be transparent because sometimes the shorter route is the right move and sometimes doing things really well when you have the time or you have the ability to do so is the right way to go. That's why communication is so important.
And many cases, guys, it's a very good thing for you to understand that the best thing for you in certain circumstances is to actually create a solution that is suboptimal, but make it a good suboption uh, optimal solution. Because the thing that I was telling you about, like the pagination, like we could have made that a really ugly thing and just treated it as, oh well, if it can't be perfect, then we could just we should just not care. Don't do that because you can make a really shitty implementation of something still a very give it a nice interface or isolate it so it doesn't grow on you or things like that put comments and so forth explaining why it's ugly so that the problem stays small because what you don't want is for that problem to grow and start infecting the nice parts of the code that you have have a great day